As the bitter cold temperatures take hold tonight, chances are you are settling in under a nice warm blanket. But there are hundreds of people here in central Ohio living on the streets. They are sheltering in the open, and I spent time tonight with some volunteers who are trying to make life on the streets just a little warmer. A pickup truck becomes a makeshift picnic table. Holding a rare hot meal for the men and women who spend their nights sleeping on sidewalks and steps. They inspire us. I, mean, I don't know how they do it to the survival instinct that they have. Butch Zerbrigan and his 17 year old daughter are the co founders of Under the Stars Ministry. And every Wednesday, they hand out blankets, socks, food. And they socialize with people they now consider to be friends. It makes me feel warm inside because I get to give to them and, you know, make them feel like, yeah, make them feel like they're not strangers or they're regular people. We give away about 20 to 25 black trash bags because they keep their stuff in it. And so when they go out for the day, they'll hide it and they'll come back and it's gone. So they have to start all over. And when you are living under the stars, it's easy to miss out on the daily necessities. And that's one of the reasons this ministry brings along things like toiletries and hand warmers. One volunteer does nothing but bring books. She takes requests, especially for bestsellers. The volunteers come from a number of local churches and youth groups, joining in this loosely organized effort to help people who, even on the coldest nights of the season, resist traditional shelters. These are the people on the fringe of the fringe, aren't they? Yes, these are the folks for whom a lot of the traditional programming is not working. The sidewalks and steps around St. John's United Church of Christ on Mound Street have become a sort of home base for the men and women who shelter in the open. And no one here judges why they are homeless. As a church, we've decided that at the very least, we are going to provide hospitality, a safe place to rest on one's journey, and an offer of resources for those who are receptive to that offer. And because so many homeless men and women gather around St. John's, other agencies now do outreach there. If you want to help in the effort, you can donate at St. John's or to David's United Church of Christ in Canal Winchester.